Hello, Dr. Roger Elmer, Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, and we're on sleep this month of May, and we're discussing carbs versus proteins. What is it that helps the most when, we, when we're thinking about sleep? One of the things that I recommend for many different kinds of, of issues, including scoliosis, is different kinds of nutrition to deal with or to, to stimulate or to support different kinds of chemistries within the brain. And so when we're, when we're wanting to have strength and be able to stand up and be awake and alert, we want dopamine. And dopamine is helped by protein. Protein causes us to release dopamine into the system. And so when we need, when we need to be awake and alert and alive, protein is, is incredibly helpful. It also helps us to do immediate early gene responses. We've talked to many times in the past to be able to fire those nerves, we've got to have protein to, to, do, to be able to do the immediate early gene response to replace stuff that's going bad and to allow that nerve to fire. So uh, carbohydrates stimulate the increased release of, of uh, serotonin. Now serotonin is very calming and that's, this is why when you eat carbs uh, at lunch, when you come back to work, you're not go, you're not nearly as awake and alert as you were at, after breakfast when you had your eggs and stuff, and so it, it causes things to become soothed. And, that, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's bad when you want to be productive. It's bad when you want to be aggressive or when you want to to get things done. But at the end of the day, it's perfectly smart to begin to use a lot more carbs to initiate the release of serotonin. Serotonin gets, gets tweaked twice and becomes melatonin. And melatonin is the hormone that engages sleep. We're gonna learn more about that, a lot more about that and the other chemistry with, which happens within the nervous system between the, the suprachiasmatic nucleus and the pineal gland and that and the reticular system. And so we're gonna learn a lot about those things during this month. But when we, when we talk about what should I be eating, it, for dinner I would be eating carbohydrates. When you're eating protein, you're also causing an increase in release in dopamine. And dopamine wants to wake you up. Now, say, well, what if I'm still getting to sleep? Yeah, that's good. I like it. That's wonderful that you can sleep. But what would life be like if you didn't have competing chemistries within the brain? If you weren't trying to release so much in the way of dopamine and you were really focused on on serotonin to calm and soothe the system and and then it's easily ground into melatonin <clears throat> so so what else can we do particularly for sleep besides carbs uh, blue the color blue in fact I brought brought a pair of uh, one of our pairs of sun blue sunglasses put them on our brain here and it causes release of serotonin. So the color blue, you might have a blue room, you might even have a blue light. Uh, if, you, if you want to have a bedside light that's blue that allows you to, to feel that soothing uh, blue and any, any, any of those things. So besides blue, what do we do? Uh, jazz, the kind of jazz music that carries you, feels really good. If you've ever looked at the sky, the blue sky, and you felt good, you have felt serotonin. If you've ever eaten chocolate and felt good and soothed, <laughs> that was serotonin. If you've ever, of course, there was probably some love involved there, especially around Valentine's Day. And then listening to some really good music, good jazz that carries you, it doesn't even have to have words. Sometimes the words actually get us get us caught up in in our head rather than in the feeling of of it but if you've had if you felt that you have felt serotonin of course on the other end of the spectrum if you listen to some rock and roll music that's highly motivated that's dopamine so you don't want to listen to that when you're getting ready for bed and even a few hours before you don't want to watch uh, a shoot 'em up movie or you know something with you know cars crashing or whatever those kinds of things are going to jack up your dopamine and therefore you're going to have competing chemistries making it more difficult for you to go to sleep. So that's some things that you can do at home and uh, some, some uh, 
ways to stimulate an increase in your ability to, to make serotonin in that. So if you have any questions, please let us know. This is Dr. Roger Elmer, Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, and we're here when you're ready to take your life back. Thank you.